Hi, folks. Autry Moreland and Autry Moreland Superstars in Saxon and Dexter, Missouri. Let Jeff Williams rob a deal for you. If you've been looking for America's hottest selling SUV, the Chevrolet Equinox or the GMC Terrain with a 32 miles per gallon highway, we got them. Two huge locations to serve you. That's Moreland Chevrolet Cadillac and Dexter and Autry Moreland Incorporated in Saxton, Missouri. More than stand on the back of your car, truck, or horse, you pay too much! Good morning. Welcome back once again to the Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles, and today is Thursday, June 10th. The Bloomfield Area Nutrition Center was recently donated a new building. It's located at 609 Delaware, off of Hester Street, near the Housing Authority in Bloomfield. Uh, and it's great. It's an old church, actually. The building needs a lot of renovation, but it'll be a perfect fit for them, I really think. Uh, they plan to begin remodeling as soon as possible and hope to serve the first meal there before the end of the year. Uh, starting tomorrow, you can bring donations for an upcoming fundraising yard sale they're going to be doing next Friday from 8 to 5 and next Saturday from 8 to noon. Anything you want to bring is great. They'd really appreciate it. You take it to the new building at 609 Hester, drop it off, and they'll take care of it from there. So come out and support your nutrition center. Also, a judge nearly ordered, ordered a nearly three-month-old mentally disabled Dexter infant to remain in, remain in protective custody Tuesday and awaits a recommendation before placing her with a relative. The girl, who has Down syndrome and weighed 5 pounds 12 ounces at a doctor's visit last week, has been in the custody of Missouri Children's Division since she was removed from her parents' Wall Street, Walnut Street home last Thursday. The infant's parents, Amanda Knight Garrett, 20, and Vabian Webb, 18, are charged with Class C felonies of first-degree abuse and endangering the welfare of a child. They'll be arraigned later today before Judge Satterfield at Bloomfield, so you want to keep posted on that. Also, some people are just born to serve. This week, Modern Women of America honored one of those people for a lifetime service to her local community. Lorraine Thomason has worked to improve the, the quality of life for the residents of Stoddard County through volunteer efforts in several local organizations. Those efforts were recognized Tuesday evening as Thomason was awarded a certificate and a cash award to be donated to the charity of her choice. The Hometown Hero Award recognizes Thomason for continued work at the Dexter Oaks Senior Center, particularly the Center's Meals on Wheeled Food Program for Seniors. Volunteer work through Keller Public Library, Friends of the Library, the Dexter Treeport, and the Silver Hair Legislature Organization which often finds her in Jefferson City working with legislators on issues having to do with the rights of senior citizens. So, congratulations to Ms. Thomason. The community is lucky to have you. Also, in local sports, the girls' division of the first annual Rib City Shootout will be held this Friday and Saturday at the Bearcat Events Center. We now have a schedule of when Dexter is going to be playing. So, here's, here it goes. On Friday at 9 a.m., they'll be playing versus Meadow Heights. At 3 p.m. versus Holt. At 4.30 p.m. versus Paragould, and at 6.45 p.m. versus Green County Tech. On Saturday, they'll play at 9.15 versus Dyer County, Tennessee, and at 1.15 versus St. Jen. Uh, if they win and do well, they could play in the semifinals or even championship round, so that could change. The boys camp is scheduled for July 9th and 10th, and if you need any more information, check out ribcityshootout.com. Cardinals lost another close one last night as well when the Dodgers beat them 4-3. to Their record now goes to 31-25, and and that bumps the team back to second place in the National League Central Division. They're off today before heading to Arizona to face the Diamondbacks at 8.40 p.m. tomorrow night, so keep rooting for them. Uh, today's going to be partly cloudy with about a 40% chance of storms. Chance will hang around through the rest of the week, but it's been here all week and we're still dry, so take that for what it's worth. High around 87 with a low of about 68 tonight, so should be nice. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in watching the Statesman Newscast. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or submissions for anything, uh, shoot me an email at cnoles at dailystatesman.com or give me a call at 624-4545. Don't forget to pick up a copy of our print edition for the stories you've heard about and much more. And on that note, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>